Okay, good afternoon. It's um, Dr. LaReeve. I'm PJ. I'm your adjunct for Prote Professor Bailey. Um, this is Rotational Motion Physics interacti Interactive. Um, I'm sorry my screen is blue, but for some reason um, I'm having some technical difficulties, but I'm assuming you can see me fine and, and hear me, and you don't want to see my, my ugly face anyway. You want to get directly into the... Uh, the class so we're gonna we're gonna jump in I, I don't have a lot of time they, they give me a very specific time frame to do this um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the um, the Chromebook and the um, interactive portion of this on so you can get away from my face and get onto your uh, whiteboard or Google Plus whichever one you're using and right here I'm gonna click the link so that way you can whoever's in the classroom that's not auditing this class, you'll be able to see this, um, this interactive that, that appears uh, right there. Go ahead and click that, and it should um, minus up my picture up to the top right-hand corner, which is over here, and you'll have the whiteboard appear. Um, and I'm turning on your video there. It looks, this is a full class. Um, wow. There's got a lot of other participants. Um, I'm also going to mute your volume there. Um, if you pay attention, don't look at my face, but look at the actual screen um, starting right here. Um, once you click on your tablets, it, it, now this does not work on uh, iPad phones. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, um, telephones, Apple phones, or Android. If you don't have your iPad, a Chromebook, um, your laptop, or um, some form of desktop, because I see some of y'all in the back on desktops, uh, or Windows platform, you're not going to be able to see this um, whole thing. Once the interactive is up, you can it can be scaled to fit the device that, that it's displayed on, uh, simply by clicking the plus in the right-hand corner. Um, it's compatible with um, everything but smartphones, I'm sorry. Um, and for Chromebook users, um, it's a one-to-one, one-to-one um, -one classroom. And I am, yes, I am, um, I am Smurf Blue today. Again, my name is uh, PJ Larive. I'm, I'm a um, professor, adjunct professor of mechanical engineer and multi-physics. And I'm going to assist you guys in um, following Dr. Bailey's um, rotational plan and elaborate on where he left off in the study uh, yesterday. I'm gonna to try to get rid of the uh, re uh, rotational motion physics um, logo at the bottom because I can see some of you guys are saying it's giving you some issues with the whiteboard. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then, wait, hold on a second, let me give you, um, I'll put on the, the scene effects so we can do it a little easier and give you a full white board. Um, stand by. And I'm getting a message in here that's saying that um, because we're having a little technical difficulties, they're going to give me a little bit of more, a little extra time. Let me apologize for uh, my lack of knowledge of y'all's uh, nerd wallet app here. Uh, okay, so let's jump right into it. It should be on your uh, display screen on your Chromebooks and laptops and desktops and your um, iOS compatible. Um, standby. Okay, so it's evidently now it is compatible. They, ju the, they just upgraded to smartphones for iPads and some Android tablets and iOS, but not uh, Android telephones. So if you're on your phone, go ahead and click on it. All right, so this interactive is intended for early stages learning cycle on rotational motion. Um, you as learners can, um, can modify the location and the angular velocity of, of a rotating disk. And I'm going to give you a little quick story and it's going to give you an idea of, of where I'm coming from and what Dr. Bailey and I spoke about this morning. 
um, and I gave him a plot, and he loved it and, and fell in love with the idea. So we're going to we're going to discuss three um, sinusoidal natures of rotational or rotation I um, being evident, and you're going to have to create a graph with and plot a graph on vertical positionings based off of my story. So I'm I'm a 55 plus um, male who had went when back in the 70s and early 80s a turntable with an album um, an album is a, a round disc for some of you young puppies out there that don't know what a um, what an album is or record um, it, it came in two and three and four different sizes um, all the way from 45 on up 45 rpms is how fast the um, rotation rotated when you put the needle on so sound waves could come and transmit through that that default needle it, it gave a specific sound um, google it if you don't know what an album looks like or how it works just google it it's, it's there they, i do see turntables still being sold so you in albums you can buy it at record shops so anyway um the interactive on this one is we're going to use a, a, a standard size album. We're going to put it on a turntable and we're going to put it at 45 RPMs, a, a, a directional flow of 45 RPMs with a clockwise, clockwise rotation. You have a mathematical um, simulation area that I'm putting on your screen now which is five centimeters minor to 10 centimeters major. Um, each one is set in increments and I have it broken up into four, I'm sorry, six sections on your screen. So each minor and major is set up in centimeters of five, um, five centimeters. So zero being this right hand corner here and 10 being your major on an increment settling of right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to um, jumpstart my my story by saying we have 45 rpms going at one time we're going to drop an ant uh, an ant from outside um, on the center of the five centimeter minor we're going to allow that. We're not going to kill that ant. We're going to let that ant. No ants are going to be harmed in this in this simulation. We're going to drop that ant at this at where the the album sit comes through and pokes through the album and it's rotating. Right where that poke is, we're going to drop an ant right on that turntable, right on right on that album, and he's going to be in the same rotation as the album. So he's going to be going clockwise. Now, I see some of you guys raising your hand and talking. I'm not, it's muted. You have to listen to me. I'm in control of this class. No questions. Just listen. I'll, don't jump ahead of me. Just listen. The, um, on the relationship between angular velocity, linear velocity, and the distance from the center of the disk. So evidently that answered some of your questions. Okay, let me get there. Um, allows your minors and majors in the simulation area to become increments on a ruler and that are scaled to the minors and the majors. So rotation I becomes quite evident from the graph that I'm going to click up right now and the nature of the bugs rotation becomes evident also like this um, and you're able to plot the vertical position, which is going to be X, Y, and we're going to say the next position is going to be a Z. And I know in rotational function, there's no such thing as a Z function on a graph, but today there is because it's my class. So we're going to plot the vertical positions of the bug and the function of the time that is displayed. Call from plus one five zero four two zero. I'm sorry. And we're going to plot that vertical position of the time and the speed of linear velocity in increments. 
the ruler is going to tell us on the minor and major increment scale of speed versus angular velocity and linear oh, velocity. So the distance from the center of the disk is where you're going to start your rotational scale. Now I'm going to set up your um, activity right here and that gives you a idea of what your motion interactive is going to look like um, to sh and I want you to share those ideas with back with me or with Dr. Bailey and share your ideas basically with your classmates because this is not something in the physics classroom that can that, that does a it's a one-man show it's a, a topic of rotational motion so we expect that um, someday that rotational motion of that ant is going to equal of um, directional increments based on angular velocity. And the question that I'm posing to you, because I only have uh, 40 seconds left, is the answer of linear velocity and the distance from the center of the disk. Um, I don't know what that answer is because you have to figure out at what major minor increment you're going to set your your animal on your your um, little ant so i'm going to give you um, the phase one answer for um, and invite you to move past that on a on a mathematical scale i want you to give me a um you're going to set that ant in between a five centimeter minor and a 10 centimeter major. And that increment setting is what your directional motion is going to be on a root scale. Your angular velocity and linear velocity is going to be the RPM set at 45. I'm not going to, we're not going to say it's, I know other albums or, I'm sorry, other increments can be set higher. We're going to say it's 45 RPMs at the distance between five and 10 centimeters. And I need the answer in long form of linear velocity and distance traveled on 45 RPMs. Um, I see my, my time is up. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free. You can call me at, um, no, call me, email me, I'm sorry, at PJ LaRive at outlook.com um, in the title heading uh, put in HTML5 interactive uh, the class you're in now and um, limit your question to one question per um, per email if you give me a bunch of questions I'm not going to answer I'm going to answer the first one um, and, and, and try to get you that understanding first because it, it looks like there's over 60, 70 people in this class. Um, that's why I, I encourage you to work in groups. Um, I just got a text message from Dr. Bailey. Um, right now it is four o'clock central time. <clears throat> I got about, he, they literally just extended another minute. So um, he's gonna be on at 4.15. You should have, I assure you, you'll be able to have this one question completed um, of the pet, we're going to call it the pedaling ant of rotational direction traveling the same the same rotation clockwise as 45 RPMs on a medium, not mean medium and mode. We're going to go medium in between the two centimeters that I gave you earlier. If you want to um, review this quickie um, video, it's only uh, 14 minutes long you have if you can answer the questions uh, or zoom past some of it to get to the answer portion of it where you think you have the answer I don't care how you do it just get the correct answer um, I, I want to give the credits out to the uh, physics classroom and I'd like to extend special thanks to uh, nerd island uh, for the creation of the HTML5 uh, interactive this is a great program I just have to figure out how to get me not looking like a, a, a smurf in blue. Um, 
it, it's this is great stuff by Nerd Island and Nerd Island Studios. Um, if you need uh, more information, please contact Dr. Bailey, um, your your professor. I'm Dr. PJ Larive. I'm your adjunct, and it was a pleasure with you guys. I'm going to disconnect now and let you guys get on it and get this um, this equation completed before Dr. Bailey starts class. Thank you. Have a nice day.